Hello and welcome guys. My name is Imran Ismail and you're here with me at Web Talkie. Today's guest is a supermodel talent actor, Elena Fernandez. Hi, thank welcome you so much. Welcome to the show and thank welcome to the first post for the very first time. Ah, thank you so much. How are you thank you for having me. I'm very excited and very happy to be here. So you just landed in India or you were in London, right? So I was in London for four days, but I, before that I was in India. So okay. I'm always like back and forth, but I've picked right. up a cold from London because it's mm -hmm. raining there. Okay, so why turn actor? being a supermodel? Um, for me, it was just like a natural transition. Mm -hmm. So I was modeling for like a while and then I started doing more like TV commercials and things mm -hmm. like that. Then I got a call from Dharma to come okay. in for um, a, like a screen test. Mm -hmm. And it's Dharma Productions, you know? So, no, right. so you think like, yeah, no, I'm never gonna get it. You know, I rocked up there in shorts and a t-shirt. And Panjimi, the casting director, yeah. gave me several different like scripts, mm -hmm. like some Hindi, some English, some English. All right. And like, I didn't think anything of it until so like- were you comfortable speaking Hindi? I, I am actually, you know, I understand it. People forget that my dad is Indian. Right. So, you know, and I spend a lot of time listening mm -hmm. to like people speak and okay. I have a Hindi teacher mm -hmm. and who, bless him, has got like a heart of gold and patience. And um, so yeah, so my Hindi's improving, All so right. I don't mind. So our first segment is called Know Your Celeb. Okay. All right, so you are the celeb today. Okay. And we'll try to know you better. And okay. we'll let our audience also know you. Okay, right? no problem. So the first question, you're part, uh, you're part American? No, South American. South American? South American. And then you're part Indian? Yeah. But you stay in London? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Can you explain <laughs> that to me? You know something, everyone always wants to know how did my parents meet? Like, yeah. did a South American come to India or yeah. did an Indian go to Machu Picchu in Peru, right. you know? No, my parents met in London. So yeah. I was born and raised there. Uh, how, like, your dad is Indian? Yeah, my dad's from Goa. Okay. So. And h can you tell me how to, like, uh, uh, get, a, get a South American girl? How do you oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You know, my parents—they uh, were both working in the same like banking sector, right. and then I don't know. They just boring I guess jobs or something yeah, very boring job. <laughs> you know, it's London, like a very multicultural like city and everything. Okay. So yeah. All right. So when when was the first time you came to India? Uh, the first time I came to India must have been like five years ago now. Five years ago. Yeah. Now. And but the thing is, I was always I would come for like a month, I would mm. work, and then I would All leave. Right. But then. Two years ago was the longest I've ever stayed here. I stayed here for nine okay. months straight. And then you cracked Kajos. Pardon? You, then you cracked the movie, right? Yeah, I did. <laughs> and and then and no, so I always did very well with editorial. Like mm -hmm. my first shoot was for Vogue India, and then All I've right. shot for Vogue like six, seven times now. And mm -hmm. so I did loads of editorials and All then right. TV commercials. Kapoor and Sons, and everything's just gone whoosh. <laughs> <laughs> so now you're doing a web series. On yes. Lives. Can you yeah. tell me about that? Uh, so it's season two of yeah. uh, House Proud, uh, mm -hmm. produced by Joss Box Productions. Okay. And uh, it's been going really well because you know something, like we're like turning people's lives around in mm -hmm. the sense of like, your home is supposed to be your safe haven, you know? Right. It's supposed to be somewhere where you can come home, you can mm -hmm. relax. And you know, some people are stuck in a rut. So okay. we kind of improve like certain rooms in their house to mm -hmm. give them like a breath of fresh air. And I get to like play around with like the drill and the hammer and a little right. bit of painting. And then I'm like, okay, I'm done. Okay. I'm like, someone else take over. <laughs> so that's a good transition. Like you mm. were a model, then yeah. you did a movie. Now mm. you're doing a web. Yeah. So tell me something about this platform where you're working on the web platform right now. Uh, for me, I think like web is the future. Okay. You know what I mean? Like everyone's addicted to Netflix. You've got mm. Amazon Prime. Mm. There's just, I definitely think like online stuff is just like, is definitely in the future. Oh, but right. I'm not saying no to like other movies. I've mm -hmm. got movies lined up for the rest right. of the year. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, no. I'm going with the flow and I'm okay. enjoying it. But how did this thing happen to you? How did you get the role? Uh, so f with this, it was produced by Joss Box Productions okay. and they had produced several like campaigns that I'd worked mm. with before. And uh, Sony Live like invited me in. They'd seen right. like my work and mm. then boom. I'm oh. back here again filming it. So, so now we'll ask you some personal question, all right? Okay, oh God, so how personal are we going? <laughs> Not that personal, but okay. uh, tell me, what was the worst audition that you gave till now? Considering modeling or considering ads, anything? Um, I don't know, you know something? I'm such, I'm so hard on myself. Okay. I'm probably like my worst critic. Mm -hmm. I'll be like, no, this wasn't good enough. I'll be like, why didn't I say this or that? Okay. So um, I can't pinpoint like something specifically, but okay. I always think I always think I can do better. I think probably when I first, so I shot for Westside for like four years straight, okay. you know, Westside, the big department yeah. store. And I remember when I first met them, I went into their building in mm -hmm. BKC and they were just, they were saying to me, oh, like, what kind of stuff have you done? So I was just like, oh, I did the Adidas campaign. I've done mm -hmm. this. But then I'd forgotten so much and my mind went blank. Okay. And I really thought, I thought, oh, screwed it up you know but then no I was like shooting with them back to back so <laughs> is, was there any moment where you where you were asked to do something and you didn't do that like something weird that they asked you to do in the audition while uh, probably like in in several film auditions I've gone yeah. for no I think for when for one was for a US audition for okay. this TV show called the Shannara Chronicles and I had to do an American accent okay. but you know something my American accent isn't too bad like All people right. sometimes don't even think my accent sounds so British I think it does in my head but because I travel so much, I guess my accent gets really messed right. up. So do you come to India and pick up the Indian accent? 
Apparently so. Is That's right? what my parents say. Okay. That's honestly what my parents say. I'll be like, huh? Like, yeah. Okay. So I'll be I'm talking to my friends in London and they're like, Elena, what's happened to your accent? Mm -hmm. I'm like, what do you mean? I sound the same. They're like, no, Elena. You're like, huh? <laughs> I'm like, I'm some tea kid. Like, <laughs> so how do you manage your personal uh, private life? Like personal life, you can say, or the firm life, how do you manage it? I keep them completely separate. separate. Like my personal life is my personal life. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of side of me that only my friends see. Right. Not that it's like a psycho side or anything, but it's right. just that you know I can relax you know mm -hmm. you don't have to perform mm -hmm. you know you can just breathe but I'm pretty like I'm pretty much the same in like my professional yeah. life yeah all right good one so have you till now till date or like like got the failure like did you ever like fear fear of rejection or fear failure that you have let me rephrase it how do you deal with fear of rejection or failure um I mean I don't think you can ever uh, be comfortable with rejection, you know, okay. because no one wants to fail. Mm -hmm. Everyone always wants to succeed. But I think what happens is that you begin to accept that it's a way All of right. life mm -hmm. and you accept that rejection is part of it. And it doesn't mean that you've done badly. It just right. means that you don't fit that role. Okay. Like I sometimes get disappointed if I get down to the final two and I didn't get a role. But I've come to accept and understand that it's because my look or right. like, you know, my style didn't fit, you know, the vision, which is fine. So that's helped me deal with the fear of rejection. Tell me when you're on the ramp, you're walking. What oh, I always get scared. <laughs> when, I'm, when I'm walking on the ramp, yeah. even like I recently did Arch Nakocha's um, show and I had to open the show. Mm -hmm. And in my head, I was thinking, oh my God, please don't fall, please don't fall. And I've done so many catwalks. And I'm like New York Fashion Week and everything. And All it's right. just, I'm still like, please don't fall. So tell me though, do you have some any incident that happened on the ramp park while you were walking? So no, so my recent, when I opened the show, mm -hmm. my shoes didn't arrive in time. Right. Yeah, and the dress was really long. Like, I'm tall anyway, but this okay. dress was extra long. And right. the shoes were supposed to give me, like, five inches of height. It used so to I add was more five inches to your Yes, height. add five more <laughs> inches to my height. So I was literally walking, like, up on my tiptoes right. and walking calmly. I was like, don't trip, don't trip. Just smile, smile, breathe. <laughs> so no, so in my head, you're just, I don't know, you just forget to breathe and everything. Mm -hmm. You're like, right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot, stop. And 12, right foot, left foot, yeah. <laughs> so you do that, there's a song Yeah, in my head, no, you're just thinking, you're just, just like, right, you're, right, like right. you're like, don't trip, don't trip, don't trip, don't. That's literally going through my mind. And but then you're- how do you keep that subtle face? No, no, you're just like, hmm. I think it's like meditation, you know, just in your head, you're like, and breathe, and breathe, and breathe, yeah. Oh, okay. No, I know, it's <laughs> very intense. <laughs> and it doesn't matter how many ramps you do, it's always in the back of your mind, you're just like, mm -hmm. please don't fall. All right, yeah. so which is the biggest uh, ramp up that you have done till date now? Um, let me think. It was probably my first New York Fashion Week. Yeah, yeah for Road Verger. Yeah, okay. that was How's my the first. How's competition out there? Did, uh, is, is there a difference between that, uh, the modeling over there and in India? Um, I would say like size plays a big okay. issue. Mm -hmm. Like generally, like in the Western markets, you are generally smaller. Even right. though I'm not, I'm still like sample size. I'm like mm -hmm. a UK size six okay. to eight. You're generally a lot slimmer and everyone's a lot taller. All right. You know, so. so this is not the tall that you're talking about in India. No, <laughs> like for me, I'm just like, I'm 5'9 and a half, 5'10. But you know, loads of my friends are like 5'11, 5'11 five okay. and a half. So for me, that's like normal. So then All when right. I come over here and I feel mm. like a giant, I'm like, damn. <laughs> I bet you're the tallest uh, model when you walk in an Indian ramp. Like you know something, there's like the odd six footer that yeah. I see. Yeah. yeah. But like yeah. otherwise, no, everyone's pretty much my height or smaller. That's good. Yeah. So <laughs> tell me, who do you turn to the f uh, for your advice? Like if you want to take a personal or your or professional advice, who, who do you turn uh, to? For professional advice, I generally speak to my management because mm -hmm. they're the ones that are so like hands-on and they're like okay. really involved. And um, so I generally seek advice from them. But mm -hmm. I look at like certain like career trajectories, okay. you know, like I'll look at Rosie Huntington Whiteley and be like, you know, this is the route I want to go down. I want to be right. like commercial or like Priyanka Chopra. I mm -hmm. love like how she took her career from India and went right. like fully international. So mm -hmm. for me, like I have like a lot of inspiration like that. And I say to my management, how do I get to go on that path? All right, that's a good answer. Mm. <laughs> okay. Personal life, I'm like, I'll deal with it myself. It's fine. I'll break so down, I'll cry and I'll deal with it. Yeah. <laughs> you, you like to do it alone. You don't want anyone. Yeah, to I mean, someone, someone will come and they'll try and save mm. me. And I'll be like, no, 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 you're not doing it right. Okay. I'll be like, nay bye, okay? <laughs> like we do it like this. <laughs> So let me talk about the show that you're doing right mm -hmm. now. You said it's uh, it's called? It's called House Proud. All right, mm -hmm. and you're hosting the show. Yes, I oh, am. Okay, and you get to like uh, explore the house and all. Yeah, it's amazing. Like you really, because you know, the house is so personal, mm -hmm. you know? So you really like connect with a person mm -hmm. and you kind of, you kind of figure out who they are as a person with like how you have your home. Your home says a lot about you, okay. you know? So, and then we just transform like different parts to really mm -hmm. kind of, and it just, it has a massive change on the person right. as well. It's kind of a different uh, for, format for the show. I've mm -hmm. never seen the, uh, this kind of show and mm -hmm. you're hosting it. 
So I saw it for the first time yesterday and I mm. saw the episode and I, and I liked it. Oh, thank you. It's like you. something different that, that I'm seeing right well, now. Well, it's like every, uh, so each episode comes out every Friday. So yeah. you have to tune in for today's episode. It's two episodes down now, right? Pardon? Two episodes yeah, down. Yeah, so, so now today's the third episode down. Today's the third yeah, episode Yeah, we're now oh, Friday, right. Friday the 13th. Yeah, we're so third guys, episode down. Watch you have to go to go onto Sony Live or you can download the Sony Live app. I've remembered that line so many times. Download the Sony Live app and you won't miss an episode. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Good one. So tell me, being a model or an actor, uh, actor, what's your insecurity? Like fear of insecurity and insecurity? Oh, uh, you know something? I actually have so many insecurities, That's contrary to popular. Um, I always, I always think that like I'm never good enough. Mm -hmm. So I feel that you know I see so many stunning people, or I see so many like incredibly talented artists. Mm -hmm. Like you know, like as an actor, like Ranveer Singh is just uh -huh. he's incredible. So you always just feel that you're never good enough because right. you see these amazing people, but then they have their insecurities. Right. You know, so it's all about just kind of taking your insecurity and mm -hmm. just thinking, no, I got this. I can do this. I got this. <laughs> the worst right. anyone can ever say to you is no. That's okay. it. Then you just pick yourself up and be like, chalo, bye. <laughs> move on, right? Yeah, you just move on. That's good. So you're involved with a lot of charity work yeah. as well. Can you tell me something about so that? So I've always been very passionate about animal welfare. Okay. So I do a lot of neuterings in mm -hmm. India. So I was the one that neutered all of Mebub Studio. Right. So I remember when Sharok was filming there one time, literally I'm just there like trying to catch the cats. Because in order to change a country, you have to start right at the bottom. Right. And right at the bottom is the animal welfare issue. Mm -hmm. It's very, like, one cat can have something like 30 kittens in okay. a year. And then when those kittens hit six months, they can then reproduce. All right. So it's just about controlling the population by neutering. Oh. And then, you know, the cat is healthier. There's less, like, aggression. There's, mm. like, less cat fights, you know. All right. And it's just if everyone just did that a little bit, whether you're feeding the animal or helping like a street kid, you know, mm -hmm. so I'm very involved in this American charity called Sight Life, right. which um, helps people who have damaged the cornea of their eye mm -hmm. and get their sight back. Oh, nice. So, so are you a cat person or a dog person? I'm actually a shark person. You know, I have cats and dogs. And, okay. uh, but I actually, my favorite has to be the great white shark. Yeah. Yeah, because sure. I love sharks. So when I did the Kingfisher calendars, I've done the Kingfisher calendar okay. twice. And when I did it the first time, mm. I had the morning off. And we were in South right. Africa. We were in Cape Town. Mm. And I said, I remember I said to Atul Kuzbeka, okay. I was just like, oh, like, if I have the morning off and I promise to be back for the last right. shot, um, can I go, like, swimming in the cage with great white sharks? I literally, I don't think he's ever had a request <laughs> like that before. And he was just like, yeah, sure, but make sure okay. you're back. So literally, I was up at like 2 a.m. We okay. arrived on the beach by like 5 a.m. <laughs> it was the most insane, incredible experience of my life. Shark. Come on. I know, a great white if shark. If you get a better shark, will you do it? You know something? <laughs> I was like looking at the shark, and it was coming towards me, and I was like, wow, this is Jaws. It was amazing. Most of the people are scared. <laughs> yeah, no, I find them like incredibly fascinating. Wow. You know, because they're so like... I see a shark. I'm gonna piss in my pants. Oh I no, think. but ever since ever since I was a kid I've always loved sharks. Yeah. But I mean I love dogs, I love cats, I love animals. Like, I've got cats and dogs, but um Normally I love people like us we like dogs, we like cats. Yeah. Like sharks. Yeah, yeah, great white sharks. So you never heard that before, no, but I love uh, the great white. So what we're gonna do now is now it's a second segment. This okay. is gonna turn into a confession closet. It's Ooh. gonna be a closet now. It's okay. gonna be in my closet, okay? okay. Now, oh, what's in your closet? closet. <laughs> it's my closet. Okay. I see all my clothes inside. Okay now, then. Okay. okay. <laughs> so what we'll do is I'll ask you some confession uh, mm -hmm. question, okay? Okay. So let's begin with the first thing. Mm -hmm. Tell me, uh, what is the first public performance you ever remember giving? Like, oh God, public performance. Yeah. It probably had to be like after, actually when I did the item number for Charlie Kitchakome with um, okay. Nazaruddin Shah, um, that was like my first major like press mm -hmm. kind of thing. Right. And I was very nervous. I was just thinking, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Did you do something wrong? I'd like to think, no, I didn't. No? You know, I went to, I remember I went to McDonald's afterwards. Okay. That much I remember. <laughs> Um, but I just remember being very nervous and I remember just not presenting myself in the okay. way that I wanted to. Mm -hmm. But so now it it's like I'm fully time, trained. Right? Yeah, it was the first time. But now oh, I'm just right. like, I know the drill. Especially when they talk Hindi, I'm like, no, I got this. It's okay, fine. so tell me, when you were young, what's the craziest thing that you did for a 500 buck or a thousand buck? You know something, I have, to, I have to admit, when I was a kid, I was like quite a spoiled brat. Right. Like, I'm like, it's not that I'm embarrassed that I was a spoiled brat, but I didn't have any concept or understanding of the rest mm -hmm. of the world. So, whereas now it's just, I really appreciate the position that I have and like okay. the big difference that I can make. So, um, as a kid, I just like, I just used to go shopping with my friends. Okay. Whereas now I'm just like, no, I need to like save the world. I need to save India today. But I don't have time to shopping. The like a craziest thing to get the money. I just like, my friends used to joke, you, you know Fresh Prince of Bel-Air? Uh -huh. You know Hillary, the character? Okay. My, my friends just used to say I was like her. I'd be like, Daddy, can I have $500? So no, I didn't have to do anything crazy. <laughs> so you got it like that? I'd be like, Daddy, I need $500, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought, we, uh, I, sh I wish I had that. No. <laughs> my father 
go, uh, give me like 10 bucks when I used to pick up something and you know drop it down. Yeah. And then he used to give me 10 bucks to go enjoy. I said, what? Yeah, but, but like before when I was like a kid, I'd be like, no, I need to go shopping. Whereas now I'm like, okay, so I've got 30 cats. I need to neuter. Okay. We need to fund this to do that. So, you know, <laughs> I don't know when, you know, when I first came to India and I just mm. saw like, you know, it made me realize how lucky I was. It mm. really made me want to help make a difference. And it's oh. still, that's what drives me. So like pretty much 80% of what I earn goes towards trying to make everything better. You know, oh I just want to give people like a better opportunity mm. and like help, you know? People okay. think like, oh, there's, well, there's 1.2 billion people, it's too big a problem. I'm like, well, no, not really. It because starts, it starts small. Yeah, but the thing is if like, if 1.2 billion people change their mindset mm -hmm. to be like, no, we can do something, even something so small, like any act of kindness is just like beyond priceless. All right. Good one. Mm. Yeah, he's getting inspired <laughs> now. <laughs> okay, so tell me, uh, how would someone get your special attention? They have to make me laugh, okay. but I don't like stupid funny. Okay. I like sarcastic All British right. funny. I'm trying to make you laugh from the time you're here, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See, that made me laugh, so you know. <laughs> All right, so tell me, what has been your worst date ever till date? Till now? Um, my worst date. Yeah. Let me it has think. That's an interesting story now. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to think what my worst date was and who's going to be tuning in to watch. Okay. That's what I got to think. What my first date was. I think my first date that never got a second date was a guy that I was seeing in London that was just really arrogant okay. and egotistical, and mm -hmm. he was, he was like in the footballing world, okay. and um, he was just like talking about himself the whole time and just like very selfish, very spoiled, and I was okay. just like. You know, I'm not into this. So he never got like a second date. He's still a friend, okay. so I won't name his name, but um, yeah, no. All right. I'm like actually a very cheap date. Like I don't drink or anything like that. I like my tap water All and right. I like something very simple and bland. Good, then I, I would love to take you on date. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm happy with like a fish filet meal from McDonald's. I'm like, oh, this is nice, wow, you know? we don't get that date. Yeah, no, I'm very, yeah. because everyone thinks, oh, you know, Bollywood, like model mm. and everything, she must have like okay. super requests. I'm like, I don't like sushi. I like fish, okay. cod. Fries. A burger will do, a fries will yeah. do. Yeah, I'm like happy with the potato. Potato and bread, I'm happy. You know? Guys, <laughs> she's you know? happy with the small day. I right? know. <laughs> and uh, my only expense has to be Roy's chocolate. Oh, right. But you know the ones, uh, the crisps that are covered uh -huh. in chocolate? Amazing. Otherwise, my praline chocolate's in London. That's so, yeah. fine, that's fine. I do. We don't have to spend that. <laughs> no, 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 it's fine. You know, McDonald's is fine. <laughs> All right, good one. So tell me, what do you think is the greatest invention till, till date? That's only oh, to you. Oh, God, the greatest invention... I wouldn't say it was the phone because I think, you know, sometimes you walk down mm -hmm. the street. I think phone is the worst. Th I think it's the worst because you see everyone on their phone mm -hmm. like all the time. You'll be walking down the street and everyone's just on the phone and I'm just like, so for me the best invention has to be to do like any medical invention yeah. for like animals and people. Tell me one. A craziest invention that you think. What, what do you think is the craziest, cra craziest one, the invention to the day? Actually, you know something? I really like underwater cameras oh, because okay. I love how, you know, have you ever seen like David Attenborough's Blue Planet? Uh-huh and it's like they go like deep under the water okay. like those kind of cameras to be able to see like mm -hmm. a whole undiscovered world right. i think that's amazing but i'm really bad with technology you know so i bet you i still don't understand my iphone like fully yeah. but yeah i just need like a phone that just like whatsapps pictures and that's it we'll give you a workshop after this don't yeah mind. i need a workshop <laughs> yeah. okay so tell me this your new addition to a crayon box okay color box mm. what color would you want to be and why? Deep black to match my soul. No, I'm joking. <laughs> no. Um, That's dark. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> um, you know something? I never used to be such a colorful person. I've okay. always been, I guess it was like your standard model uniform mm -hmm. was always black, you know, right. skinny black jeans, mm -hmm. skinny tank, tank top. Right. But um, recently I've been embracing color. So like, you know, these pink earrings and stuff. So I like probably something neon and bright, uh, something right. that will stand out, okay. you know? No problem. So tell me, uh, what does love sound like to you? I don't think love is a sound, love is a feeling. Yeah, there you go, deep. <laughs> wow. You know, love is, enough, love is um, yeah, it's just, it's a feeling. You can't win the ropes now, huh? Yeah, when you, <laughs> when you know, you know, that's it. All right, cool. So what keeps you awake at night? Stress, a lot of stress. Yeah. Um, so what keeps me, like, I'm, I'm, I'm a big warrior. Okay. Like, I'm always thinking, oh, no, I think I can hear a cat crying. I think I can hear a dog crying. I think I can hear a child crying. And, um, no, so I worry a lot. So about what do you do to sleep then? I don't really sleep that much. I sleep maybe three, four hours. Okay, you yeah. go out at night and save people, right? Yeah. No, so do like you have the a last. Superhero costume then. No. 
if it was a superhero costume, it would be a cross between a cat, a dog, and a shark, yeah. probably. You know? right. And cool. something black, obviously. <laughs> so, no, yeah, no, I, I worry a lot and stress a lot. Because okay. I always want to try and fix problems. So mm -hmm. I take on everyone else's stresses. All right. Because I'm thinking, you know, people can't handle it as much as I can. So I want to, like, alleviate all their problems and mm -hmm. try and fix it for them. All right. You're so I'm a big stressor. So off. good so far. You're getting, giving me all the honest answers. I'm ah, liking it, yeah? okay. Well, I've got no reason to lie. Why lie? Yeah, okay. <laughs> so hypothetically speaking, if you were single, are you single? I don't discuss my <laughs> So I have to ask you this question. Mm -hmm. If you were single, uh, mm. will you date a fan? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, why wouldn't I date a fan? So are you single now or what? Because fans are looking. <laughs> um... <laughs> I think life and relationships can be very complicated. Okay. And um, you just never know who you're going to meet, whether you're a fan or like no matter mm -hmm. where you are in your life, you know, just if you make me happy, then All yeah. Right. So I'm quite a difficult person to make happy, yeah. I didn't get that to you, but that's fine. She can that's she, the she answer you'll have to accept, yeah. All right. No problem. I'll, set, I'll settle with it. Yeah. Okay. What do you think when you're alone in the car? What do you think of when you're riding alone? Well, usually I tell my driver to turn the music up, so then I can like zone out, you know. Okay. And then I just, I don't know. Then I like to daydream. I'm a All big right. daydreamer. Because you don't sleep at night. Yeah, so I don't <laughs> sleep at night. So I just daydream. I just think, oh, if this worked out, then this worked out. Yeah. All right. Busy person, huh? Yeah. Okay. This is the this is the good one. I know. I I think I know the answer. If you were superhuman, okay, yeah. what what would be your superpower? Ooh, that's a tricky one. Yeah. Probably just like, I'd be like, problem fixer. That would, fixer. yeah, that would be my Avenger role, problem fixer. Okay, this yeah. is Avenger problem fixer. <laughs> ah, okay. You know, someone comes to me with a problem and bam, I fix it. And what will be the tagline? Um, the shark problem fixer. <laughs> the shark. Yeah, the fixer. shark problem fixer. The great white problem fixer. Yeah. You did so good in this round. I'm oh, loving it. You. I got all the honest answers. Yeah. Except one. Okay. Okay. We'll talk <laughs> off camera. Okay. Off camera. <laughs> you have to answer me that. All right. So let me talk about this now. What are you doing? later after this uh, Sony like you are doing a movie yeah so I'm doing a movie in July okay. I'm here for another two three weeks okay. I've got some great meetings lined up I've mm. got some great shoots and covers lined up mm. uh, then I'm going to Cannes okay. which I'm excited about and um, soon uh, so there's, there's actually several brands I'm collaborating mm. with as well so okay. there's like a lot happening this you're is why I do not where? sleep you're doing a movie where? oh I can't say that yeah <laughs> I can't say that sometimes I don't even know what I'm allowed to say so yeah, then it's that, best not to say anything spot. Yeah, because okay. then they'll be like, why did you say? All right, so yeah. now we'll focus on the Sony Live show yeah. that you're going on. So okay, do you want the audience to tell, like, uh, like, tell the audience again? So everyone, I want you to tune in every Friday to Sony Live. And um, you can also download the Sony Live app to make sure you don't miss an episode. All right. And I know pretty much we'll be back for season three. So if you want to apply, you apply online. But no, please don't miss an episode. You'll enjoy it and you'll get to hear me. And I'll be speaking a lot slower than what I speak now because uh, when I'm filming, I have to speak slower because I know I speak quite fast, so I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I, I want you to go on the Sony Live app, download it, watch yes, it. Yes, do the not miss an episode. <laughs> the third episode is going to come it. today. Yes, it's All out right, today. So two episodes are already down. Please go, yes. like, watch, comment. And if you want any more updates about my crazy life and why I don't sleep, you can follow me on social media handles. Yeah, she's everywhere. Twitter, I'm Facebook, everywhere. Just find Instagram. me. You know, I do some funny Twitter posts. Yeah, That's one thing do? I do. Yeah. What's the funniest one to leave? Uh, what oh. did you tweet today? Uh, oh no, so it was late last night. I tweeted this really funny picture. Okay. You'd have to, okay, check out Fernandez underscore Elena to see the funny picture. It's actually really funny. I can't even yeah. describe it, but I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> right. I actually took it from my friend. So, um, yeah. So we'll okay. see more of you now in Bollywood, in Hollywood. Yes, you cannot escape me. So right. wherever you are, India, America, like every, you will not be able to escape me. All Hollywood, right. Bollywood, yeah. Thank you so much for coming on my Thank show. Thank you so much Thank for you having so me. Much for Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> She's really funny. I, I enjoy it. I try. It. I, I try my hardest. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank and you we'll so get you much. Again. Mm -hmm. Come to India often. It's like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's like a home away from yeah. home. home next away time, from home. next time you'll be hearing about my updates on cans, and then you'll, I'll be able to tell you more about the next okay. movie, and then. For sure, then you're coming in and telling me everything. And the more. brands that I'll be working with. So. Right. So thank you so much, guys. We'll see you again. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye.